In an astounding development, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a significant discovery that has left space experts worldwide in awe. Recently, the telescope identified the earliest known galaxy in the universe, a remarkable breakthrough in itself. However, it has now detected something even more extraordinary, a supermassive black hole speeding away from its galaxy at an astonishing rate of 4 million miles per hour. This latest revelation carries profound implications, stirring speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about what it means for our understanding of the universe and the nature of black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched with a mission of exploring the universe's earliest galaxies, aiming to provide insights into the initial phases of cosmic history. So far, it has captured breathtaking images of star death and galaxies dating back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, shedding light on the universe's infancy. Join us as we delve into the telescope's latest discoveries, which promise to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Remember to like and subscribe for more exciting content as we continue uncovering the universe's mysteries. This latest discovery challenges current scientific understanding of black holes, hinting at a paradigm shift in how we perceive these cosmic phenomena. Traditionally, black holes are seen as massive objects that draw everything, including light, into them, resulting in their characteristic darkness. Yet, this newly observed black hole appears to be having the opposite effect. Rather than absorbing light, it is creating new young stars along a long path in its wake. This trail of newly formed stars stretches an incredible 200,000 light years behind the black hole, raising new questions about the dynamics of black holes. Scientists are baffled by this black hole's unusual behavior, which defies long standing theories about their nature. A team led by astrophysics professor Peter B recently published their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, highlighting the need for further study. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, suggesting that when the black hole interacts with gas, it triggers star formation by cooling it. The phenomenon has left behind a trail that could provide new insights into the processes of star formation and galaxy evolution, challenging our current models. NASA has also shared another exciting discovery regarding the cosmic merger ARP-220, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This striking cosmic collision appears among other galaxies in the night sky, illustrating the dynamic nature of galactic interactions. RP-220, a phenomenon created when two spiral galaxies merged, shines brightest in the infrared, making it ideal for observation by the James Webb Telescope. Classified as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy, ARP-220 has a luminosity of a trillion suns, a staggering contrast to our Milky Way's 10 billion suns. Located in the Serpent's constellation around 250 million light-years away, ARP-220 is considered the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth and holds a unique place in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. Approximately 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies collided resulting in an explosive surge of star formation and creating a stunning cosmic fireworks display. This event generated a dense region roughly 5,000 light-years across that contains about 200 massive star clusters, showcasing the extraordinary star-forming activity that followed the merger. Remarkably, this small area contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way, indicating a rich reservoir of star-forming material. Previous radio telescope observations revealed around 100 supernova remnants within just 500 light-years, marking the aftermath of numerous stellar deaths. Subsequent observations by the Hubble Space Telescope showed that the parent galaxies are about 1,200 light-years apart, each harboring a rotating ring of star formation that emits intense infrared light. The James Webb Telescope's latest images provide an unprecedented look at the cosmic merger of these two galaxies, capturing intricate details of these colossal giants in their cosmic dance. The image also reveals faint tidal tails stretching from the merger's edges, illustrating the gravitational pull between the galaxies and the dynamic forces at play. The red, yellow, and orange streams represent scattered organic material in ARP-220, adding complexity and beauty to this cosmic interaction. In yet another remarkable discovery, researchers have identified primordial galaxies on the outskirts of the observable universe, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Initially skeptical, 
Some scientists believe these could be nearby galaxies in disguise, a common challenge in deep space observations. To confirm, they shared their data with scientists around the globe, hoping for validation. Astonishingly, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are indeed real, securing their place in the cosmic timeline. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we can now observe the oldest galaxies ever seen, offering a glimpse into the universe's early days. Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies has traveled over 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, allowing us to peek into the distant past and understand conditions shortly after the Big Bang. These galaxies emerged when the universe was young, shedding light on the rapid pace of early cosmic evolution. Spectral data confirmed that these galaxies lie at the edge of our observable universe, with some farther than Hubble could detect, marking a new frontier in galactic research. This discovery is pivotal, as it validates one of the James Webb Telescope's core missions, studying the early universe through light that has traveled over 13.5 billion years. This ability to look back in time offers invaluable insights into the universe's evolutionary story. The telescope's capacity to measure extreme redshifts is what sets it apart, enabling astronomers to peer into the infrared spectrum and observe the universe's first galaxies with unprecedented clarity. The excitement surrounding these findings is palpable, as they mark a milestone in our exploration of the universe and our understanding of its evolution. This discovery the mass has of planets deeply impacted can be determined our using the spiral the... speed method, which detects the subtle wobble caused by a planet's gravitational pull. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, will conduct spectroscopy on planetary environments and employ coronagraphs to capture direct images of nearby exoplanets. Although these images might initially appear as simple points of light, a detailed analysis can reveal valuable information, such as color variations that could indicate seasonal or rotational changes in vegetation, providing clues about the planet's potential to support life. Spectroscopy, which measures light intensity at various frequencies, is crucial for understanding the composition of exoplanet atmospheres. When a planet transits in front of a star, light passes through its atmosphere, and the elements present absorb light at specific wavelengths. This absorption is visible in the observed spectrum, allowing scientists to identify elements like sodium, methane, or water. These findings help us assess the potential for life on the planet. Infrared telescopes like JWST are especially vital for studying exoplanet atmospheres because many life-related gases, such as water vapor and carbon dioxide, absorb and emit light in the infrared range. This wavelength provides critical information about the temperature and chemical makeup of a planet's atmosphere, aiding our understanding of its habitability. Infrared observations are advantageous because molecules in exoplanetary atmospheres exhibit distinct spectral features in this range. The ultimate goal is to find an Earth-like planet, often referred to as Earth 2.0, and JWST has focused its attention on Proxima b, located just over four light-years away. Proxima b is an exoplanet orbiting an M-type star. With a mass about 1.2 times that of Earth and an orbital period of 11.2 days, Proxima b lies within its star's habitable zone. However, the extreme ultraviolet radiation it receives could potentially strip away its atmosphere and hinder the presence of key life-supporting elements like oxygen and nitrogen. The habitability of a planet depends not only on its position within a habitable zone but also on the ability of its atmosphere to maintain stable conditions suitable for life. Factors like climate regulation, radiation protection, and the preservation of essential chemical elements are crucial in determining whether a planet could support life. Beyond Proxima b, JWST is also investigating other intriguing exoplanets, such as WASP-107b, as well as the rogue planets in the Orion Cloud. These findings challenge our traditional understanding of planetary formation and have sparked new questions about the diversity of objects in the universe, pushing the limits of current theories and inspiring continued exploration. Recently, astronomers have discovered objects as small as half the mass of Jupiter drifting freely in space, unbound to any star. According to physics, objects of such a small scale shouldn't exist. Yet these Jupiter-mass binary objects have been observed, with some being less than a million years old and reaching temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Though they may display intriguing atmospheric features, 
such as steam and methane, these objects are not capable of sustaining life as their surfaces are too hot to support liquid water. These discoveries have focused attention on the Orion Cloud, located about 1,344 light-years from Earth. This region, visible to the naked eye as a fuzzy star in the Orion constellation, is a massive star-forming nebula filled with dust storms and gas. The latest discoveries, including pairs of Jupiter-sized objects, have perplexed astronomers. These objects challenge our current models of planetary formation and raise questions about how they could be ejected from a star's orbit and then reaccumulate. Even experts like Professor Matthew Bape, head of astronomy at the University of Exeter, admit that there is no definitive explanation for this phenomenon. It appears that an unknown factor is at play, shaping these objects in ways we have yet to fully understand. These unexpected findings force us to reconsider our current understanding of star and planet formation. As we continue to explore these new discoveries, it opens exciting avenues for advancing our knowledge of galactic science. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments like the video, and subscribe to stay updated with more groundbreaking discoveries. Engaging with this content helps us bring you more exciting revelations. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have sparked significant advancements in our understanding of the universe and prompted NASA to consider developing even more powerful telescopes to confirm whether our interpretation of the Big Bang is correct. The relentless pursuit of knowledge continues to push the boundaries of what we know. Data from Webb Spectrometer and Near-Infrared Camera have revealed that four out of six early-stage galaxies exhibit extreme redshifts, suggesting that they form just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies lack heavy elements like carbon, which is astonishing since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old. The presence of these ancient galaxies challenges our understanding of the early universe, leading to concerns within the scientific community. These findings question the current cosmological model and the theories explaining the origin of the universe, which have some unresolved issues, such as violations of thermodynamics and the lack of a clear explanation for what triggered the Big Bang. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope is observing galaxies nearly as old as the Big Bang itself, contradicting everything we thought we knew about the universe's beginnings and its early development. According to theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, the discovery of these ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has cast doubt on our understanding of the universe's birth, prompting a re-evaluation of fundamental theories. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but new discoveries suggest that we may be missing crucial information about the early stages of the universe's evolution. The achievements of the James Webb Space Telescope have surpassed expectations, featuring a 6.5-meter mirror and a sunshield the size of a tennis court, along with an array of instruments cooled to near absolute zero. The telescope observes the sky in infrared radiation, revealing details of the universe shortly after its birth 13.8 billion years ago. It has captured images of stars forming in dust storms and gathered faint light from the farthest corners of the universe, pushing the limits of our knowledge. James Webb's infrared instruments have also proven valuable for studying distant and unusual galaxies, uncovering secrets previously hidden from view. In particular, the telescope has focused on Proxima b, capturing the sharpest image of our closest neighboring exoplanet. What Webb has revealed has gone beyond expectations, expanding our understanding of the cosmos. In January 2024, a major milestone was reached in our comprehension of the universe. For centuries, humans have gazed at the sky, pondering the points of light in seemingly infinite space. Just 30 years ago we began discovering planets orbiting stars using various methods, which drastically changed our view of the universe. Now, with 55 confirmed exoplanets and over 10,000 potential candidates, we are entering a new era of space science, exploring fascinating and diverse worlds beyond our own solar system. Planet formation is influenced by various factors, including chemical composition, geological activity, and atmospheres. These discoveries challenge previous assumptions and open new avenues for research. When findings point to the presence of planets with elements potentially linked to life, the implications are significant, providing answers to some of our questions about the universe. However, deeper questions remain, driving our curiosity even further. In this context, 
The mission of the James Webb Space Telescope is focused on studying the atmospheres of exoplanets for signs of potential life. Although Webb is an infrared telescope, raising questions about its suitability for studying exoplanets directly, it will use the transit method. This technique involves observing the light from a star as a planet passes in front of it, allowing for detailed analysis of the planet's atmosphere. Collaboration with ground-based telescopes will complement this research by enabling more precise measurements.